Hello, how is everybody doing today? Really weird setup. I'm actually in my garage, my eBay books behind me, and the phone is on the Corvette. Weird, I know, but I just want to share a little blast from the past. And it's not this Skylanders box. It is what's inside this Skylanders box. Remember these? It's blinking. So cool. I just wanted to bring them out again. Kind of been stored away in my closet. Wish they did stuff like this. Of course, Mega Bloks, to me, in general, doesn't make the best figures. If you think minifigures, you would think almost all the time of Lego. But look at this. Choppy Mage. They did Giants, Glow in the Dark Swarm, got two of those. Cool, cool, cool. They got all these portals. I'm just I'm just having fun getting these out again. Get rid of all the portals, because there's lots of them. One of the main things I wanted to show, and this is kind of funny. I might I know I have it. It might be in a box. And that is Molten Hot Dog. Cinder, look at that. They did this so well. I don't even know if Lego could have done as good a job. Even got the trolls. Another Cinder. I think one of the Cinders is glow in the dark. Even Stump Smash looks good. I think, I'm trying to think, and then they did the Swappers. I think the last things they did were actually the Swappers. And like they were supposed to, they actually swapped. And they also did variants, which I really appreciated. Legendary Trigger Happy. The molding was great. Looks exactly like the characters. Up, oh, gun, glow in the dark. Trigger Happy with glow in the dark guns. Countdown looks really good. And then here's the silver versions. Doesn't mean they're actually they're actually silver. Was there silver Eruptor? They had silver versions of. Sparrow's Adventures characters, or was that Giants? Anyways, it's just cool. They carry them over to Mega Box. Even Legendary Sheep. Uh oh. Look how good Flame Slinger looks. And there he is, Hot Dog. I, I swear, I'll have to go back and look at my videos on YouTube later. But I swear that I have Molten Hot Dog. He must still be imps. Look, there's even a ram. It has the horns. He must still be in a box. Because so I remember paying... I, I, I know I have it because I got it on eBay. It was a little more money. Chaos. It's good old snapshot. I'm dropping stuff left and right. Look at that. Bouncer. I swear if Lego did them, they would have just turned into like the regular looking Lego minifigures that all look the same. For the people. I'm telling you. Bash. Look how good Bash looks. Doesn't very Bash. I don't think there's a regular. Bash, here's a Cinder. And this was after, like, the one of the E3 versions of Cinder. It's just amazing. Amazing what they did with the Mega Box. Dark Spyro. Igniter. Terrafin. We're getting close to the end here. Chop Chop. A Translucent Troll, because why not? I don't know what he's doing here. 
That's turtle. Jet back. Fudge. Hoot loop, hoot loop, hoot loop. Food fight shroom boom. And this might be my favorite. And I know I, I know I have it. Maybe I'll do a separate look at that. Even Mega Ram Spyro they made. This might be my favorite. Why is his head so head so like you can see his neck. Anyways, this is probably my favorite of the Mega Bucks because they actually have, as you know, a Blue Bash. And Blue Bash is also one of my favorite just Skylander designs in general. So cool they included this. Really miss these. They could have just easily drove out without his wings, continued this line, and it would have been great. Let me know. In the comments below, do you guys have Mega Box and what you think of them? I always thought they were really cool. There's still a few more, and the fact is this. The fact is this. The other interesting thing about Mega Box is the only version of Flynn you can get in any Skylander form is Mega Box. Really cool. That about wraps it up with all of my Mega Box friends. There's more in the box. But there's some duplicates and just other random ones. I just want to talk about how great these were. You guys have a great day. Adios.